Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Episode 18 of Royal Revolt 2. Uh, so you can see here, we've been offline for about 10 hours. And our defenses that we just built in the last episode, all the arrow towers, actually have paid off some. And we've actually gained a gem and saved a decent amount of gold. We're not getting uh, you know slaughtered horribly every time now. So the video and audio don't always match up here. We do speed up the video here for the Let's Play series, uh, at least in the initial, you know, early levels, because there's really nothing, nothing too strategic or anything crazy. Uh, it's a lot of night spam. So you're just spamming out knights. You're using your hero. You're learning how to move with your hero. You do want to upgrade your spells, your hammer strike specifically, because uh, that's the very first spell you get. And you want to upgrade that as soon as possible. And then you want to upgrade your knight as soon as possible as well. So we'll do a couple raids here and get some of the upgrades going again. You can see we built a whole bunch of arrow towers last episode. And so we will actually build a couple more. Arrow towers are extremely effective. They're very cheap as well. And at this stage of the game, you shouldn't really find anyone, um, you know, in the lower levels that is giving you much, you know, much issues, much problems. Like I said, it's very, very straightforward, especially once you level up your hammer strike and your knights. There really isn't anyone down in the lower trophy range that should give you problems. You should be able to beat almost anyone. Um, you do want to use a little bit of cannons here and there, since a lot of the bases are very bad in the lower levels and they won't have ranged troops and they won't have ways to kill the cannons effectively so you'll notice that in all my raids it's pretty much just knights the hero takes care of the spikes the hero also takes care of the water tower and he kicks back the bombs that's probably the most critical um, aspect that you need to learn how to do in the game in the early stages is kicking back the bombs so the bombs don't damage all your knights because they do do a massive amount of splash damage about uh... well it's hard to say but it's about half of your knight's life And as you do notice, you do find uh, a fairly good chunk of loot in the lower levels. So it's not too hard to actually upgrade all your stuff, to have all your workers being used. Especially if you didn't get any of those packages. If you still just have two workers, um, your workers will pretty much always be in use. But remember, you can also upgrade your spells, you can also upgrade your units, and you can also upgrade your waves without using a worker. And then you can also upgrade your uh, construction factory, the building levels, the inventor's workshop, I believe it's called. You can upgrade your building levels as well without a worker. 